normally I record these impulse episodes and it's just me alone in my room with my cat. And now it's like someone's watching me record this. Every single screw up you do, <laughs> you will be so heavily judged. What is up everyone? My name is Captain Zesty Mike and today we have a special guest with us, Derpy Thunder. Hello everybody. <laughs> I wasn't looking at the camera, but hello everybody. I was, so it's okay. We'll just keep cutting okay. for like three seconds while you're not All looking. Right. So today I wanted to do an equipment spotlight, spotlighting his equipment that he uses in his videos because I came across his channel and said, wow, that audio is crisp and sexy and I want it all over my desk. So um, I figured I would ask him what equipment he uses and thought it might be good to share it with you guys. It's good to learn with what you have and make do with what you have, but there are some people that want to jump that extra mile and push forth their, you know, their channel a little bit further. So this is to those people who want to find a way to make it just a little bit more professional. Your turn. <laughs> Oh, is this where I come in and talk? Okay. <laughs> As a brief overview, then, I suppose, of what I'm using, I very early on, I wanted to achieve the best audio I could, but for the best price. And that doesn't always happen. But in the terms of what I've found, I'm using the Shure SM7B, which is a fully dynamic cardioid microphone from, obviously, the Shure company. S-H-U-R-E, not like he's sure of this company. <laughs> Yes, it's a S H U R E. I actually yeah. was looking up a review earlier and there was someone in the comments is like, is he sure that this is the microphone he's using or is that sure <laughs> microphone? There was a lot of okay, confusion wow. in the comments, so I figured I'd clear yeah, that. Yeah, that person's just after uh, <laughs> likes or whatever you get on Amazon comments. I don't know. Um, anyways, dynamic cardioid is actually quite an interesting combination. Dynamic implies that it doesn't need phantom power, which is the standard 48 volt that most condenser microphones need. So you've got a lot more versatility when it comes to actually connecting the microphone to different types of preamps, different types of interfaces, different types of EQs or mixer boards. There's a lot of stuff that you can do with this microphone. And personally, in my opinion, it excels at just about everything. I use it for voiceovers. I use it for YouTubing. I use it for podcasting. It's a very, very excellent microphone that I find can just really handle every situation and handle it well. Now, we did price this whole entire rig out earlier. What did we come to, 450? 500? Um, I think 450 to 500 was at least what I'm using anyways for bare minimum if you're wanting to use the Shure SM7B. It runs off an XLR connection and can be hooked into any standard audio interface, preamp, or equalizer. I personally really enjoy the microphone because it's dynamic, it's good at what it does, and it can do pretty much everything. Whether you're trying to record a YouTube video, a podcast, a voiceover, or your mother baking a cake, it's good at just about anything you can throw at it. I've used this microphone for about a year now, and I've really had no issues with it whatsoever. Other than something that should be pointed out, it is very, very quiet. If you are going to get this microphone straight out of the box, I think it sounds fantastic, but it is very quiet. So it is highly recommended that you plug it into some kind of preamplifier or audio interface that has the ability to change the gain. What powers the microphone? What gives it power? Power that receives it from your computer and Thingma Bobber Johnson. Thingma Bobber Johnson. Well, you see, Mike, Thingma Bobber Johnson, that's a very difficult category. Keep in mind, I'm a, I'm a filmmaker, not an audio expert, so right. this is for right. technology. Well, I can speak well, to my camera when, stuff all day, but when it comes to audio, When you're talking, to, no, no, actually, you got it right. The Thingma Bobber Jigger is actually a very, very specific part that you need for audio. My Thingma Bobber Jigger. Jig, jig, doohickey mawatsit is in the form of a Focusrite Scarlett 6i6. Now, this microphone needs some kind of audio interface that is, again, going to convert the XLR output to USB. You don't necessarily need a 6i6 interface, such as what I'm running. However, I would recommend either the Scarlett 2i2 or some kind of standard audio interface that is capable of taking a signal, bumping up the volume a little bit, letting you tweak with a couple of the gain settings and just what the microphone's doing, and then you can plug it in USB into your computer. Although my whale is sagging. There we go. But, <laughs> Not your whale. whale. You have to keep that part in. My whale is sagging. <laughs> Hashtag my whale is sagging. 
Yes, hashtag Derpy's whale is sagging. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Um, Hope that starts trending on spe- on Twitter. Uh, uh, yeah, no, uh, <laughs> definitely shouldn't. And then we will also list all these different products down in the description below so you guys can check it out and see if it's something you might be interested in. My whale is sagging again. Okay, here we go. <laughs> well, I think that pretty much covers everything. Mainly wanted to you know, figure out what equipment you use to get the sound that you get, because that's personally the sound I've been looking for for my videos for a while. I always thought that was something right. you had to do in post, not something you could just set up and get. It's a little bit of both, Well, I mean, personally. like what I'm hearing right now is good. Yeah. So your videos are obviously better because you take a little bit more time with them, but the fact that the natural sound is pretty qual- like pretty good quality, I was pretty impressed mm-hmm. by it. So, well, thank you for shining some light on that for us. Of course. Thank you for having me. It's been a very... Uh whale of a time. <laughs> Please tell me you're keeping that in. We'll see. Please, you, you got it. We'll see. We'll okay. see. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, anyways, guys, that is it. If you want to check out Derpy's channel and see all of the good microphone-ness all over his channel, you can do that. The links are down in the description below, as well as my channel down there. It's not quite as cool, but it's there. But anyways, guys, that's it. We'll see you next Monday. Hopefully with another live stream. Oh, bye! <laughs> See ya. Beep. You having a tea party? Beep. If I knew I was gonna sit here and play with a freaking Microsoft command prompt all day, I'd just, I'd go do that. This is as entertaining as playing with a- Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.